Thanks for staying with us in the last hour. A panel has cleared the way for the FDA to give emergency use authorization to the Moderna vaccine. And those in long-term care around Wisconsin have a lot to gain from that approval. That is the vaccine that will go to nursing and assisted living homes around the state through a federal program. Our Naomi Coles explains. There's two parts to vaccine distribution under Wisconsin's first phase. There's the state directed hub and spoke model, and that's getting vaccines to our health care right now. And then there's the federal pharmacy program in partnership with Walgreens and CVS. They're going to get the Moderna vaccine to our long term care. But at the end of that chain, there's our elderly loved ones just waiting for their shot. She has very few people in her world, in fact, none other than myself. For 45 years, retired UW professor Paul Williams counted on his secretary. I depended on her all my professional life, and now I can uh, give back. Now, as Veronica King's close friend and healthcare power of attorney, Paul says neither of them can wait until she has the vaccine. Yeah, and she's very much for that. More than a quarter of COVID-19 deaths in Wisconsin happened in long-term care. Now, through that federal pharmacy partnership, they're next in line to get the vaccine under Wisconsin's plan. The pharmacists and their pharmacy technicians will be the ones who actually administer the vaccine to both residents and staff. In Wisconsin, that first dose could reach nursing homes as soon as December 28th. We expect uh, um, from our allocation, our Moderna allocation, um, that 25% uh, of what is necessary to uh, vaccinate, first dose vaccination at skilled nursing will uh, roll the first week. But when all of Wisconsin's roughly 5,000 long-term care facilities get their own, that's still up in the air. We are hoping to have our vaccines done for all residents and all staff members by the first week in January. So it's a lot of moving parts. John Sauer with Leading Age Wisconsin has a lot of unanswered questions. For example, how many of the initial expected shipment of 100,000 Moderna vaccines will be sent to long-term care versus health care? It's a, it's a mammoth uh, undertaking and it is full of logistical complexities. But for a population hit hardest by the virus, at least now there's hope. And I promise them we're going to have a big party once, <laughs> once uh, COVID is done. And at St. Mary's Care Center, Paul says Veronica is just hanging on to seeing her son again. She's living for that. Reporting for News 3 Now, I'm Naomi Coles.